What's going on everyone? Noel JP here as always. How are you all doing today? Hopefully everyone is having a really awesome day. If you saw the thumbnail, you know what this video is all about. But if you didn't, then you will absolutely know now. What I have for you guys today is my first Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Nuke or Deatomizer Strike gameplay, if you prefer to call it that. I cannot begin to tell you guys how happy I am to have gotten this first Nuke gameplay out of the way. So in the background, the Nuke happened on throwback playing my favorite game type which is domination using the nv4 fallout so i'll talk to you guys a little bit about my loadout on the gun some things i was doing while going for the nuke and my mindset that can really help you out when you're playing the game and a few other things along the way before we get started if you're new to my channel or want to give me props for dropping a nuke definitely subscribe to my channel i know this is only the first nuke i've dropped in infinite warfare but it definitely won't be the last so keep up with my channel by subscribing and i'll get more out as soon as i can get them knocked down so let's talk a minute about this damn nuke streak and why it took me almost a month to get this first one out of the way i don't think it'll come as any shock to you that getting a decent gun streak in infinite warfare is not the easiest thing we've ever seen in cod history the pace of the game the movement system and the random goofy rig abilities and guns that Infinity Ward has put in this title makes staying alive a practical art form with a little bit of luck thrown in there. You will see as I start to get on the streak that there are a few lucky instances where I won one-on-one -on -one gunfights that basically had me at near-death health, but I managed to survive. Trust me, getting the first nuke down takes the worry away and should free me up to play a lot better at the game uh, just because I won't be as nervous to try to get that first one out of the way and hopefully it'll lead to a lot more nuke gameplays for you guys to enjoy. As far as my loadout goes, it's basically what you saw if you watched my NV4 Prosperity Best Class Setup video that I put out a couple days ago, only this time it's using the NV4 Fallout with the nuke capability. Go check out that video for a good rundown on some awesome class tips, I think you'll really enjoy it. Just to confirm what I was using for this gameplay for the nuke, I had my gun equipped with a silencer, foregrip, and quick draw, and I'm very thankful for that quick draw because it definitely saved me a time or two uh, while I was going for the streak. My rig was the Synoptic, and I was running Ghost, Dexterity for the blue perks, Scavenger for the green, and Dead Silence for the red. A very powerful setup if I'm being completely honest. Also, I had the default score streaks of UAV, Scorchers, and Warden on. Not by choice, but only because I forgot to change them at the start of the game. Typically, I would run the counter UAV or the advanced UAV, which can help, but I think using the counter UAV and UAV score streak combination is a little bit better just because you can cycle through them a lot more faster. So with that, let me tell you guys a little bit about my thought process as I started getting further into the kill streak. Uh, first of all, let me tell you guys there's nothing lucky about getting a nuke in this game. It is very hard to do, no matter if you're a skilled player or trying, you know, a very good tryhard, whatever you happen to be, it is very, very hard to do. I failed so many times up until just today when I picked this gameplay up. So don't feel bad if you haven't gotten one yet. It is extremely tough to do, but if you keep trying for it, everybody's going to eventually get one or at least get a very good kill streak that you can be proud of. If you don't use it or feel like you should use it more, get used to having a constant look at action on the minimap. This tool is more helpful to getting a big streak going than anything else in this game in my opinion. With so much movement and the speed of play, it's easy to forget about the minimap and the next thing you know you're dead on the ground because you didn't scan your surroundings. You'll see during the streak that I do a lot of quick checks to places I just came from just to be sure I wouldn't die by someone getting in behind me. You also see a few times where I stop and wait for a few brief seconds, and let me set the record straight, it's not to camp. Um, let's get that notion out of the way right now. Usually when I stop, it's because I'm in an advanced position near a hot area of the map where a lot of enemies can show up at any moment due to a lot of spawn points in the area. It's always a good idea to pause and let your team come off spawn and rejoin you for a better chance at staying alive. Yeah, it's not the coolest thing in the world to use your teammates as a shield, but hey, if you want a nuke gameplay, someone's got to take the bullets, and it sure as hell is not going to be me taking the bullets. That's for, that's for damn sure. So speaking of spawns, that is something I have spent a lot of time over the first month getting used to. It's kind of a blessing in disguise that you die a good amount in Infinite Warfare because you easily learn where the spawn points are for the game type that you're playing. During this gameplay, I was super alert to spawn flips 
based on the flags that my team was capturing or that the other team had just captured. And you'll see me swap sides a few times to not get caught with people on full health coming out of a spawn point right near the middle of the map. As I get closer to the end of the nuke, I was literally nervous as hell. I was trying to keep my hands from shaking so that my shot was still on point, but my heart was beating like crazy. It's just one of those weird emotions when you know you're so damn close and you don't want to screw up and just wait for the kill that sealed it at the very end of the gameplay. If you think you wouldn't be scared by the encounter that I went through at the last kill, then I don't know what to tell you because I was afraid I had just lost it by having a crappy shot. So keep watching and you will see how it played out. So yeah, with that guys, I will wrap up this commentary and let you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Hopefully you like it, and I hope I will have a ton more to put up on my channel very soon. Surprisingly, YouTube is not filled with massive amounts of these gameplay nukes at this point, so I feel pretty lucky I was able to pick one up before the first month is done. If you guys like what you see by the end of the gameplay, make sure you subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Have a great day everyone, and I will catch you on my next video. You're needed at B. Scorcher's ready for use. You're halfway there. Keep it up. Drone support is active. Securing Alpha. We're holding all points. Defend. You're needed at Alpha. Losing A. Ward and ready to launch. Roger. Target acquired. Inbound hot. Solid copy, engaging. Losing Bravo. Assist your team at A. Enemy has Alpha. You're needed at Bravo. Shut down, shut down. We're holding all points. Defend. Losing Bravo. We're winning this fight. Assist your team at C. Down to three, bottom three. Assist your team at Alpha. You're needed at B. Set depth at C. Assist your team at A. Solid copy. Engaging. You're needed at Alpha. Securing Charlie. Your teammate called in Scorchers. Danger close. UAV inbound to your position. Enemy UAV in your vicinity. Roger that. Be advised. UAV on standby. Securing Charlie. Engaging targets. Nice work, well done.